Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sizzle's World. Sydney Sizzle said the kid. You know who it is. Such a Um, first I just want to say thank you all so much for watching all my videos, especially HU21. Kudos to y'all. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, such a um, but no, I was in SOB yesterday and this one girl, she was, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know her name, but she was like, you know, you really pushed me to go here, seeing all your videos. I was like, thank you so much. Like, I appreciate that. I mean, because you have to realize, like, I've just make, been making videos just to really make them, um, kind of just to inform you guys, like, what's going on here at Howard. But outside of that, like, I just, I just make videos, put them out there. Whoever sees them, sees them. So, um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And if you ever see me on campus, you know, just come up and talk to me. I'm very friendly, very talkative. If you can't see that from these videos, then you just can't see. Um, but this video is for the HU22 class. That's so crazy, HU22. Um, some of you have asked, how do you uh, make sure you get a spot here at Howard? How do you, you know, apply? How do you make sure you're going to be admitted into whatever college school here at Howard University? So here are a few tips that I came up with. Um, even though my process was a little bit different because I am an athlete, I can still give you all advice. Uh, coming into Howard, like, I was still very studious. I never let my GPA fall below a 3.5. Um, I was very active within my school. So I, I, I wasn't just a student or just an athlete. I was a student athlete as well. So how to apply to Howard University. The first thing you want to do is make sure you do your research. Make sure you know um, about your major, the program, what the school has to offer for you and how you can benefit and even what you can do for the school. Um, kind of just know a little bit about some of the organizations and programs and clubs here at Howard so that, you know, if you get admitted into the school, you have an idea of who you can talk to and network with. Network with because your network is your net worth. Remember that. But yeah, definitely just kind of get an idea of what you're getting yourself into, especially the cost and tuition to come here. I think, I believe it's $47,000. As an athlete, I'm so blessed, so blessed. But no matter if you're paying for it, your parents, the government, the whoever, whatever is paying for it, just know why you're here and make sure this is really what you want. Um, because I'm not saying like, Think about other schools, but if you can't necessarily afford to pay $47,000 a year, obviously there are other options, but just know like find scholarships, apply to everything you can think of because the money is out there you just have to be willing to go find it. Um, and for myself, it was the same thing. I, I wasn't sure how I was going to pay for tuition. Um, my mom was like, you know, you're going to college. If it's not for athletics, you're still going to college. So I didn't want to have that burden sitting on her shirt, ugh, sitting on her shoulders. So um, me being me, I went out and I dug for everything. I reached out to whoever I could to see how I could reach a coach and how I could uh, just put myself out there and make myself known. <laughs> um, the second one I have for you is try to excel in everything you do, no matter if it's your grades, sports, um, even if you fell off your first semester or your first year of high school, just try to come in strong because they really do look at the overall package of what you bring to the table. If you are applying yourself, if you are applying yourself in high school, and you're taking really easy classes, you're just passing by on the low just to get by. Howard is not gonna be so thrilled and say, oh yeah, you're just taking like basic math for two years. Like, 
don't do that to yourself please don't because i've seen that happen to um a few people and that's why they weren't able to get into certain universes so yes make sure you just really try to push to be the best that you can the third one is your extracurricular activities i'm not saying join every last week so with that being said if you're active in high school that's probably going to carry over into um you know your collegiate years so your letter of recommendation I think, I'm not really sure if they necessarily read that, but making sure that you have a teacher or um, someone that you look up to write your letter, letter of recommendation is very important because they're the ones that kind of have been mentoring you for the past four years, two years, however many years it's been, and you don't want someone to say anything negative about you. Um, I know at my school, they don't actually get to show you what they wrote unless they want you to proofread it or something like that to make sure that information is correct. But a teacher will write a negative remark about you and sometimes they won't even tell you, they'll just send it in. So you want to make sure that the relationships you're building with your teachers are, as I said, are authentic and are real as possible, as real as possible. Um, because you don't want that to be a reason why you were turned down from um, Howard or Hampton or Michigan State, wherever you're applying. The next one I have for you is your personal statement. So this, for me, <laughs> I've never been a great writer, so... <laughs> Just as I said, make sure you're just as real as you possibly can be. Don't write about a time you fell and it made you smile. Write about something that really made you change how you, you change your perspective. Write about a time where someone in your family passed away and it made you want to push harder in school. I wrote about a time when <laughs> I fall started at Junior Olympics for the 400 and at that point, I was like, wow. I even wrote about a time when I didn't even make it to a Junior Olympics. Like, I barely made it. And so, with things like that, it's, it's definitely heartfelt. Because at that point in time, I thought I was not about to continue my track career. But sometimes you just have to, you know, make certain adjustments that will help propel you into the future because if you try to stay stagnant and let things just you know hang over you then it's you you won't be successful and i'm telling you that right now if you get to howard and you think that everything is just going to be black and gold blue and yellow orange and pink it's not going to be like that every sometimes you're going to have gray clouds over you but you have to just be strong enough to you know get through it the last thing I have for you guys is to just take a breath and relax. This is your senior year. This is your junior, freshman, whatever year. Just live every moment to the fullest. You have homecoming coming up. You have prom coming up. You have senior pictures. Um, did I say prom? Yeah, I said prom. Your um, senior penny. You have so much coming up. Don't just get so caught up in applying to schools because your time will come, but just realize that there's so much more to life than just applying to schools and sitting at your laptop like, oh my gosh, did I get in, did I get in? If you're meant to be here, you're meant to be here. And I hope that each and every one of you watching this video gets into Howard University or whatever prospective school that you're trying to get into. But if it's meant to be for you, it will be for you. Just breathe, relax, and enjoy the ride. So until then, I'll see you guys soon, and I hope you all have an amazing day.